How's it going, folks? Welcome back to Real Life Lucas Black. It's March the 20th, springtime fishing. Man, they are biting in the marsh. Wanted to talk to you guys about some techniques and lures that we use. Gonna show y'all some clips um, on our recent fishing trip, hammered them. Number one, I wanted to talk about something about in the marsh this time of the year soon as the new year starts is a beetle spin i know if you guys have watched some of my videos you have seen us catch them on a beetle spin and some people have asked me like lucas how do you fish a beetle spin in the grass well a couple of things Visually, I'm looking for the grass edges, holes in the grass. I'm not just chunking it right in the middle uh, of the grass and the hydrilla and reeling it. So I'm hitting those grass edges and then you're reeling it slow and when it ticks the grass, you just kind of pop it out of there or slowly pull it through. And then when you when you get it through, if you don't, if it doesn't feel right, if you don't feel the vibration or you know there's some grass on it, you just kind of shake it. There might be some cast that, you know, is no good because you get grass on your lure, but it really matches the hatch. Something about a beetle spin looks like small minnows. I remember when I first come down here and was fishing throwing lures, throwing, uh, you know, big Cinco's or something, and some bait fish would jump up and it would be real small. And also, I went fishing with a guy, he was throwing a beetle spin. And I'm telling you, it works. Throw a beetle spin this time of the year when you're in the marsh, you're gonna catch all kinds. We caught redfish, bass, I've caught crappie with beetle spins. Phenomenal lure this time of year in the marsh. Also, one of the easiest ways to fish in the marsh, not to get hung up on grass, to attract the fish, really bring attention to the bait, is a lazy man hook. Good job. You guys have seen me throw the lazy man hook several times this is rigged on a baby strike king crawl and this is a size two alt hook but i really like to throw the four alt hook and here's one right here in the package i like the four alt with the willow blade but here's what you need to do all right and i like to pair it up with a biffle bug gene larue biffle bug this lure right here I'm gonna rig one up. I got one tied on right here. Right there, you can see it. I'm telling you, it looks so good in the water. It falls slow. The bass and redfish really love it. I think it imitates a crawfish. I think it imitates even a crab, the way it moves and falls slow. And also, probably, even bluegill. So three different things that this biffle bug is imitating. Um, it has a hollow belly. Sometimes you can hear, I'll put, a, I'll put a rattle inside the belly. You guys can see it hollow right there. And some baits come with rattles. You got jig rattles and I just, this is a jig rattle, rattle and I just stuck it in the hollow belly in front all the way up top get it all the way up top in front of the hook where you put your hook and it stays in there and just kind of i call it tech expose you want to put a little skin over that hook that keeps it weedless really easy to fish you can just throw it out there reel it on the grass edges throw it in the openings in the grass maybe pause it Give it a little twitch, a little jerk of the, uh, the reel. Get those rattles to popping. 
you've seen me catch a lot of big fish on that bait. Big bass, big redfish. One of my favorites to fish down here in the marsh. Gotta have them. Now, I wanna talk about this lazy man hook. Here it is in the package right here. All right. When you take it out of the package, let me get this thing out of there. All right. And sorry if it's too windy, but there's what it looks like. And you see that screw lock right there? Take that screw lock off. Do what you want to with it. All right. Owner center pin spring. Owner CPS spring. Right there. This is the large size. They make a small, medium, large. They may even make an extra small. I'm not sure. But that's the large. All right. Take that and replace that screw lock that comes on it. This right here will help you get it centered better with that center wire right there that's why it's called cps and it's going to hold your lure on better so right here all right here's a cajun crawl look really popular lure down here this combination take it right in the center twist it on there and then measure see where your hook's going to come to take it go all the way through to the other side, straight through, just like that. And then skin it on the other side right here. That's gonna keep it weedless, right? Really good. The CPS spring, look, that big one keeps the lure on better, okay? If you have, if you have this small one on here or any other small one and you keep catching fish and, you're, and the head or in the case of a crawfish, the tail keeps pulling through, change to a larger CPS frame, okay? Now some of these other lures, like this baby crawl, you can't use a large because it's skinnier. This is a smaller lure, so I use a medium. But predominantly, I'm using the large CPS springs, okay? Really critical. Love the lazy man hooks. You can put anything on them. Rage Menace, Flukes, you guys seen us, have seen us throw the Flukes, Matrix Sheds, so swim baits. If I throw a swim bait, especially the smaller size, I'm gonna go down to a two alt. I think this is a two alt on the, on the Baby Rage crawl, two alt. As you can see here, we had them tied on, look at that. We had the Kitek tied on. They was just ripping them up, went through Kitex, went to the Matrix Shad, they were still hitting it. Matrix Shad's a little tougher, has a little tighter kick. The next lure I wanna to talk to you about, really durable, really strong. The tide started coming in. We found a point where the, it was a, a, an eddy right there, and the, it was shallower than the water we were setting in. And those fish were stacked up right there. And that's when I started throwing a swim bait. All right. Right there it is. Even had the skinny head on it. And this this is a Z-Man diesel. Really durable bait. I don't know how many fish I caught on it yesterday. Really tough. It even says it on the package. Ten times tough. All right, so if you're tearing up a lot of baits, you know, these Z-Mans are just tough. I've glued this one on here. But I had this skinny head on it. I love it. Narrow, it's not round for And if you notice, when you reel it in the current, it'll move it a little bit. And so I think this head, when I'm throwing it out there in that current, the tide's coming in and it was ripping through that area and then getting in those eddies. It was probably doing a little weird action, like a side and almost like affecting it. And those fish were lashing out on this swim bait. But anytime there's some current, soft current, swim bait is always a good lure. Hope that helps you guys. 
if you're going fishing this spring in areas where there's grass uh try those lures uh down south especially down here in the marsh have a beetle spin lazy man hook i even even i put cinco's on a lazy man hook and when you put a fluke on them they have a nice wobble when they sink even if you're fishing it slow and this blade is excuse me this blade isn't turning has a nice wobble on the fall unlike any other belly weighted hooks i have fished okay i'm not sponsored by any of these companies i'm just giving this information what works for me hopefully will help you guys when you go out fishing and if you notice this weight this keel weight here is farther down the hook than a lot of belly weighted hooks some are up here some are down here like the only fla owner flashy spinner but it's real bulky it's kind of up top actually i think i got one right here yeah it's up top closer to the head right there but this lazy man hook is farther down the, the belly of the hook. And I think that makes a big difference for me. I've noticed the action of lures, action of swim baits, sometimes thicker swim baits like a Kitek, the head will even be touching the weight. I do not like that. Okay, I like for it to be uniform. I like for it to look slick. Uh, lazy man hook provides that for me so i like it throw a beetle spin lazy man hook get you some z-man diesels they'll last a lot longer go out there catch some fish enjoy this beautiful springtime weather we're having we'll see you next time real life lucas black subscribe to the channel hit the like button click the notification symbol We'll see you soon. Hi, Gosh. Daddy's boat. Not much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I wanted to show you. Small. It's made good. See this? Cute. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.